Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we carving? Well, we're carving this wood spirit out of a piece of driftwood cedar from our buddy Jordy Johnson in Canada. We're using the Dremel 4000 with the Cuts All Extreme Burr. Cuts All Extreme. Just started out by cutting in the forehead, separating the eyes, and carving the forehead and eyes. All that good stuff. Getting it all rounded over. And cut down. You see we're cutting the eye the eye, uh, eye slots in a little bit deeper. And we're carving the uh, nose in now. And we'll get we're gonna cut the back of the nose down by the eye ridge. And we'll cut those eyes in a little bit deeper. See? Cutting that nose in deeper so the nose sticks the furthest out from the face. Get those, uh, we gotta get the eye sockets cut in to give us our cheeks. The deeper you push your eyes in, the further your cheeks will stick out. Just in case you didn't know. Tuning up the side of the forehead there in the temple area. Pushing that back. Had to adjust my camera angle. So you guys can see more. Uh, should not have used the cuts all burr for the placement there. It's a little bit wide for this size of uh, wood. And now we're putting the uh, barrel of the mouth in. The barrel so that where your mustache is going to be is going to be rounded and that will show the underside of the cheeks now we're cutting just uh, kind of drawing that mustache in using that cuts all burr trying to get everything uh, kind of drawn in give it its place if you don't like it you can always go a little bit deeper can always carve it a little bit deeper. You can see we're getting that those cheeks worked in there. Moving the sides of our mustache in a little bit to give a little more cheek. And Jordy said, "Rob, don't plan on don't plan out the carving. Just carve, just power carve, push right through it." So that's what I'm doing. I'm just pushing right in there and. Carving it as fast as I can. And it still ended up taking me an hour and a half. But I just I, I guess I just can't do those uh, 30 minute carvings like Jordy. And have them come out looking the way I want them to be looking. So yep. Still ended up taking me about an hour. A little over an hour to carve this guy. But this was a non-stop. Right to the wall carving deal. No break. Just push right through it. And, uh, eh, he didn't come out too bad. I guess. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Do you know? I don't know. So now we're cutting the, uh, nostrils in there. And you can see I'm kind of making it straight to the tip. And however the, uh, that triangle we put in fits, it fits. So we're just pushing it in. I think this face came out more like a uh, troll face, I guess. Like a troll guy or an elf guy. Uh, but what is a wood spirit? But a... Uh, right? Some kind of troll wood spirit guy. Okay, so now we have the uh, micromotor. With a diamond burr. And we're cutting the, uh, the, the wings of the nose, the, the nostril part of the nose, I guess. You see, we're, we're sep doing a little separating there. Undercutting the cheeks, which I should have waited to do, undercutting the cheeks. Because, um, if I would have waited on undercutting them, undercutting them, they would have been a little, a little further down than where the 
nostril is. But it all works out. Now we have the saber tooth elongated flame burr. This is an uh, old one, so it's not very sharp, which in the micromotor works out well. The micromotor is not a big fan of the uh, more spiky burrs. I think uh, the micromotor would be okay with the saber tooth yellow burr, which is the medium. And this is the coarse. The yellow is the coarse. Or, sorry, the yellow is the medium. The green is the coarse. And they have they came out with a new orange. Well, not so new, to, not so new anymore, but new to me. It's orange, and that is the uh, supposed to be the equal to the cuts all extreme burr, which would be the saber tooth extreme coarse burr, which is orange. And they also have a white one, which is their extreme fine. Extreme fine. I tend to uh, shoot middle of the road with with a saber tooth. I will probably order some of the yellow ones, just because they seem to like the uh, micro motor a little bit better. I know the the green ones are a little grabby, so you have to use a real light hand. Now you can see I'm, I'm really narrowing the top of that forehead in. And we're back with the uh, Dremel 4000 with the Cuts All Extreme Burr. I'm flattening out those eyebrows. Uh, they were getting a, uh, sticking out there a little bit way too far. The eyebrows were. And we're back in there with that elongated flame burr from Sabretooth. I really like the elongated flame burr because it has that long pointy nose on it. It kind of like a split between a uh, cuts all extreme and the cuts all taper burr, right? It's got that long taper like the uh, cuts all taper burr, but it's also fat in the back like the cuts all extreme burr. So it's a little bit of both, and I like the pointiness to it. It lets you drive. See how I, it gave me that nice shadow under the forehead. Okay, so now we're drawing the eyeballs in. We're drawing in where we're going to place the eyeballs. Um, that line is not the middle of the eyeball. That line is the bottom uh, eyelid. Okay. Everybody thinks that that's, that's where the center of the eye is going to be. No, no it's not. Okay, and same way when I make the ramp going from the corner of the eye up by the nose. Uh, when I ramp that in there, it's not center. The ramp is shorter towards the nose, and then it goes longer out towards the side. Okay, so I've zoomed in here to show you. This time, the last time I showed you cutting in the eyelid first, this time I'm actually showing you cutting in the eyeball first. So we go deep into the corner of the eyes, right? And then we round that up to the middle. Deep in the corner, like that. Draw that line straight across the bottom. And then round up. Deep in the corner and, and taper it up to the center of the, or to the uh, tall part of the eye there. And that will give you the roundness of your eyeball. See that? We're going deep in the corner and then rounding up to the center. Rounding up to the center. Just like that. And now we will start to cut in the upper eyelid. This is a very small diamond ball burr. Sphere burr. In this uh, micro motor. You can do this with your Dremel too. It's just that uh, since I've got them both set up, it's quicker for me to change back and forth between the micro motor and the uh, Dremel. I can have a different burr in each one of them. And it saves me time. So this is a very small, it's, it's very small. It's like, uh, I want to say smaller than a 30 seconds, but it still has the eighth inch shaft. So you can go ahead and fire this right into your Dremel if you wanted to. 
And same thing we're doing both lids. Deep in the corner, round up to the center. Deep in the corner, round up to the center. So you want to kind of keep that from wherever your center line of your eye is going to be. Well, it's not actually the center because mine are offset. The, you see how that, that's not in the middle where it comes up and then back down to the outside corner? Uh, that's just the way your eye shaped. Uh, I, I, your eye's not really shaped like a football. It is and it isn't, but it's kind of offset. So, uh, yep. So I've been watching this guy on uh, YouTube. He's also on the Facebook World of Car Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Original. Uh, his name is Lucas Koss. K-O-S-T Carving. He has a YouTube channel. Guy is phenomenal. If you want to learn how to do eyes, he's got a video on how to do eyes on YouTube. It's really good. I've, I've watched it probably 10 or 15 times. Lucas Koss. Carving. K-O-S-T. L-U-A-S. Lucas Koss. So, uh, check out his videos. Um, he, he shows how to do eyes really good. You can take what you can learn from him and then apply it to your own like I did. I took what I could learn from him, his the way he does it, and I just applied my technique. Uh, so, check out Lucas. And uh, for the whittlers, guys like to whittle. I like to whittle. I whittle my wife away. Whittle my wife away. Anyway, uh, go check out uh, Dan Carpio. C-A-R-P-I-O. Dan. D-A-N-C-A-R-P-I-O. He does a lot of fantasy carving. Uh, all with knives and uh, small gouges. So go over to Dan's channel and check him out. Dan Carpio. Yep. Check out Dan. And uh, for the Wood Spirits, you got a couple awesome sources. You got uh, Jordy over at Carving Fusion. And uh, Lucas Koss. Yeah. Uh, Lucas does his in a little more of a real reality style. And Jordy does his more fantasy style. Both of them are great styles. They're just different. And uh, you can do like I did. Do Just mash them all together and see what falls out of your hat, guys. Just squash them all up and see what falls out. And it could be a nightmare like this guy. Yep. And I think uh, the next video, guess what we're carving? Another wood spirit! Yeah, I know you guys are probably getting bored of me and wood spirits, right? But hey, I got to get it down before I go do this, uh, this big piece I got to do. I got to try it. Now this is the uh, ruby burr here. Going through, flattening some stuff out. I kind of like the way that nose came out with the, uh, the big hook to it. It's got a big hook nose. Kind of like that. Kind of remind me of the old cowboy face. Oh, I need a drink. Getting a frog in my throat. And we're using that ruby burr. To, uh, you can see we're... See how I'm really making those, the flares of them those stick out? That's what makes them give them that troll warlock look thing going there, I think. Is the big flare in the nostrils. Alright, so. Now we have put the cuts all gold... Uh, flame burr in there to uh, help smooth out the mustache. We're not really all that worried about getting it all smoothed out perfect because we're going to come back and cut hairs into it anyway. I probably could have mowed that beard, that mustache down a little bit more under the nose, but I like it like that. So we're going to leave it like that. Work uh, cutting that must, uh, beard hairs down. Jordy says, I make my beard too formal. I should just let it go all over the place. Not round. See how like I'm rounding it over here? I'm giving it a definite stop. So uh, maybe on the next one, we're just going to let her fly. Wherever it goes, it goes. See how I'm rounding the cheeks in there? 
pulling the sides of the face of the cheeks in to give that face a little more form instead of just all hair. Now we're coming in with a, we got to make this deeper. So we're coming in with that cuts all extreme burr. But you can see right in, right next to the cheeks, under the cheek, I bought the face in to make the cheeks stick out more. See that? Try to give that face more of a, I don't know, that old, uh, kind of like the skull almost, right? With skin on it. So uh, it's hard to explain. But that's what we're doing there. And now we're peeling some of this beard down. Now, if I just let the beard go, I wouldn't have to do this. If I didn't cut that uh, that definite stop line in there, I probably could have just let it go. And I could have plunged in deeper, under right under that cheek. I could have bought that beard in more, or the, the cheek, the face, had it sucked in more there. But uh, I kind of like him the way he is. I really thought he was going to come out terrible, and uh, I think he's all right. I think he's doing all right. Doing all right, getting good grades. The teacher asked me why. Why were those shades? Yeah, that's our next one. We got Carver Wood Spirit wearing shades. Nah. Maybe uh, we'll carve a hippie dude wearing shades. And a bandana. Yeah. Okay, now we're cutting the, the nostrils in there. Man, this camera angle is all over the place here. Come on, Rob, change it up. Look. Okay, there we go. That's better. So that's what he's looking like. And uh, we have a small diamond in there. We're smoothing over those eyes, make them round. And we're cutting the uh, age lines in. Getting, ev getting everything undercut so it has a, a little bit of a shadow to it. And we'll change that out. And we're going to put the uh, encoded uh, a cylinder burr up oh, up oh, nope 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 don't use a cylinder burr like that in your micro motor i had, had had some shape to it that's the only bad thing about those uh those cheap carbide burrs that you buy on amazon is they are not you know they don't have a lot of great balance to them so when you put them in a high precision unit like that microcarver, you can really feel the wobble. You can really feel the shake in it. So I just popped it out and put it in a Dremel because the Dremel don't care. The Dremel's not a high precision ball bearing machine like that one. And the Dremel's not spinning at 45,000 RPM either. So, uh, yep. So uh, instead of blowing the bearings out of my handpiece on my uh, micromotor, I decided it'd be a good idea just to switch her over to the old Dremel. She's kind of loose anyway. Uh, this Dremel, this flex shaft has seen a lot of action in the last two years. So now we're using the micro motor with a cone burr, a saber tooth cone burr to uh, clean it up a little bit. Take it down a little bit. Uh, put, put some uh, more beard hairs in there. Bring that cheek down and fold it in. Yep. And there he is. Just like that. And the shop inspector sector is going bananas. So, you get the... If you hear a dog barking, it's a dog barking. Okay. She's in the background out there acting like a maniac. Because uh, she's outside and I'm inside and she just don't like it. She don't like it at all. And she's telling me about it. But I'm editing a video, so she's going to have to wait. And now we're putting the eyebrow hairs in. Same burr that I put the heavy beard hairs in. You just put them closer together and uh, use a lighter hand when you're doing that. And go with the cutter. If you try going against the cutter, against the spin of the color cutter, it will dig in and tear it apart. All right, guys. So share. Subscribe like all that great stuff that you do so well and we will catch you guys on the next one all right all right all right spike all right i see uh i can carve has started uh, a new carving uh he'll probably put it on his channel so we'll catch you on the next one bye bye